What's up noob crew? Thanks for clicking. Welcome to another video. Uh, apologies for not doing a video last weekend. Um, I had COVID. It wasn't very nice. Um, I couldn't get out of the house. And I couldn't go out of the house really either way. I didn't want to infect anybody else. I know you don't have to self-isolate now, but I chose to. So no videos last week and I'm nearly clear now. Uh, hoping I'm clear by tomorrow, which is Sunday. Um, if not, this might be the only video. But I thought as I can't go anywhere, what I'd do is I'd do you a video Obviously the last video, the FTX here, uh, I got a bit excited and I'm um, just going to see how much it costs to fix it. Okay guys, welcome back. So yeah, a bit of a weird video this one, but uh as i i was gonna say as we broke the ftx zorro but let's be honest as i broke the ftx zorro by getting way too excited uh and just wanting to see how high i could jump it it's not really designed for that guys there's nothing wrong with the car none of this is the car's fault it's my fault but i thought it'd be quite an interesting experiment to see how much does it cost after a big crash a crash like this Oh guys, I got carried away. What's that all about? So, obviously every car is different. Every car costs different. All the parts cost different. They all cost different things, uh, different amounts to buy. But we're gonna do the car we've got, which is the FTX Zero, because it's the one I crashed. Um, and it's a big crash. And is it worth fixing it? I mean, if you look at it, you'd probably think, just buy another car, right? Um, but hey, it's worth nothing, so I thought I'd see how much it would cost. The parts quite cheap for these FTXs, so I thought I'd buy the parts. We'll do a bit of a list, put it back together again, and we'll see what's what. So, if you're wondering if this is a big crash, saying, oh, now you've only broken a few things, Ben. Well, obviously we broke the body shell. Uh, now, you could leave that body shell. I mean, it doesn't look very good, but if you were gonna carry on bashing it, you don't really need to change that. It would still work, but I'm changing it because it looks rubbish. Uh, we've broke a little link here we've also broke <laughs> we've also broke this trailing arm uh, we've also broke the main chassis itself and we broke the rear axle in half it's pretty big uh, there's quite a lot of things we broke there you know the rear axle, rear axle chassis body shell drag links there's a lot of stuff broke um, but I've got the parts and we're going to put it back together again. So parts wise, we have got, and I'll tell you how much the parts are as we go. We've got the little drag link. There's this bit here. That was £1.19. Oh yes. We've got the trailing arm here, here blue trailing arm. I only need one. They come in a pack of two. They were £2.84. The main chassis, the whole chassis of the car, that, £6.64. We also broke the bit here that attaches the body shell to the chassis. That broke as well. That, that was £1.19. And we broke the rear axle. And the bought the entire outer rear axle, all the insides were fine. Bought the entire rear axle for six pounds and four p. So basically, to fix all of that, oh, and the body shell, the body shell, which you probably can't see above me, to replace the body shell comes paint, painted. That was twenty pounds. So with the body shell and all the parts to fix this massive crash, comes to thirty-eight pounds seventy-four p. Which is not bad. I know the car only cost 130, so you could say it's what a third of the price of the car. But other than throwing in the bin, and what I'm getting at is the parts, the parts are quite cheap. You know, a whole chassis for six quid, um, a whole rear axle for six quid, trailing arms for two pound for 84. If you treat this car how it's supposed to be treated, just cruise it around, drive it about, have lots of fun with it. If you break the old one of these for two pound, doesn't really make a lot of difference, does it? This whole big crash, and you don't, as I say, if you didn't buy the body, it'd be 18 pounds. 18 pounds to get your body, your model moving again and working properly. I think it's not too bad, guys. This is, as a starter car, 
that's the kind of thing you can expect if you have a big crash. Uh, also, the motor that burned out after 10 seconds after using it, um, you can buy those, obviously, that was eight pounds. So, you know, if you didn't run it on sand uh, and you got a few weeks, months out of that, for eight pounds you get a new motor and you wouldn't need to brush this convert it. I'd brush this convert it because it's cool. Uh, okay, well, well, I'm not gonna make you sit and watch me put all the bits on it. Um, I'll just uh, fit all the bits on it. We'll get you back on when we're done. And we'll just have a little quick look at it all nice and dying and shiny again. And there we are, guys, all back together again. One day I'll get the hang of these uh, montage things, but I don't have any power tools really. I just use manual screwdrivers and it takes ages and I'm not that interesting. So uh, <laughs> we'll just have it all done. What we've changed is we've changed the rear axle. As you can see, that snapped. These are trophy trucks, any real thing with a solid rear axle, not really up for super bashing. And this being the cheaper end of the market, that's why that broke. Um, this is the bracket that sits in the back here. Sits in the back here and just holds the body on. No great shakes there. That's the rear trail arm. Uh, I've actually got a spare new one now because you get two for your £2.19. Um, just be aware though, guys, if you do break it when you're out, try and find the bit both ends because there's a little ball in there and if you lose that little ball, you've got to buy another one. Luckily, I didn't lose it, so that's all good. And we had to replace the whole, oh no, this little drag link thing here, just broke off there. Uh, and we had to replace the whole chassis, basically, because it broke that corner there, which is obviously a bit of a weak point, but, oh, and the body. Nice shiny body. I've not put all the stickers on. For some random reason, guys, they sent me a blue body with the red stickers, which, I don't know, looks a bit random. <laughs> anyway, uh, point of this video, guys, well, A, I can't leave the house, uh, and B, you know, I just wondered if anyone's interested, you buy yourself a cheap learner car, you uh, crash it for whatever reason, don't have to just be getting a bit excited like me, but whatever reason, you crash it, you have a big crash, we've broke like three or four main parts of the car, under 40 quid to fix it guys, uh, and if you break, just break these, which is the things you're going to break most of the time, a couple of quid, probably five, ten minutes to fix it, and you're back away. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, I hope it wasn't too boring, I hope it's a bit interesting for you. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Ben, this is Nearby C, I'll see you in the next one.